guys, it's Best Two Friends Adventures, and today it's me, Eliza, and I am thought it's so close to Halloween, and I still haven't made this DIY on Halloween crafts. I've been just dying to make. I've been super busy lately, so thank you guys if you're still, like, viewing us. And so... I thought if I'm going to make this Halloween craft, I thought let's get some trees. I do have some pumpkins around me, but I'm sitting on the floor, and so you can't really see them as well. You can only see this big one. Have this, you know, cool pumpkins, white, orange. I've got a cool little squash, and I've got this little craft that I did, a pumpkin craft. It has a little tag says boo and says trick or treat but um sadly i will not be showing how to make it because it's too complicated and um so let's get started and if you didn't notice i'm wearing my witch hat if you're going out halloween you better have some costume so for our first diy let me grab it it's a candy corn necklace so you know, candy corn. So all you're gonna need for this necklace is your candy corn, your needle and thread, and um, that's where your parents come in. Always ask for permission to use this needle. Thread, you probably can't use. So thread your needle, um, tie a knot at the end, and then you're just gonna take your candy corn I've already done mine because I knew it would take too long for the video. And you just take your candy corn. This one's broken. but And you're just going to stick your needle on your candy corn. And then you're just going to stick your candy, stick it up through the candy corn like this. And sometimes it will break. So just be, be, just be looking out for that. And... If it does break, you can always just use the broken piece of it, and it will still work out. And then you just tie it off at the end and tie it back around your neck, and you're ready to go. But mine keeps breaking, so I don't have the best candy corn. But, you know, this is what it will look like after you do all of it and then you just tie it in the back and put it over your head. Don't do it with your witch hat on. And then you'll have your candy corn necklace. So now I'm going to show you how to make a treat. So all you need for this is Oreos and mega stuff. And some pretzels. And if you want to get extra crafty, get the pretzels that look like this. Or you can use pretzel sticks. So we're going to make mini spiders. So you're just going to take your Oreo and you can put it to the side for now. Now you're going to take a pretzel. And if you have sticks, uh, I'll show you what you're going to do in a minute, but if you have this kind, it's going to look really cool because we're making the spiders, and the, these are going to be the legs, and if you break it like this, like this, and you stick it in, it looks like a curled up leg, so you can get really crafty with this spider and you just stick them all in and it turns out to be this really cute little spider legs that's one side and then like you can do as many legs as you want you might need to get more pretz pretzels out for how many legs you decide to do I'm doing three on each side so you just take break it you stick it in. Now for those folks who have normal pretzel sticks, you just stick them in like normal, but I will add, this is a really cool effect to have curled up legs. 
I mean, every spider normally has curled up legs when they're walking around. It gives it a creepy effect. And there we go. It also kind of looks like a crab, but, you know, it's your spider. You have this little spider guy, and you can eat him however you want. It's really cute. I love it. And it works as a trick or treater thing. You can hand it out to trick or treaters too. But I will be trick or treating, so no need for me. Now, the last DIY is probably going to be not as hard as the candy corn necklace, but almost as hard. So you're going to need a jar any type of jar i chose a skinny one because i think this will look really cute on a skinny jar and i have writing on my jar but that if you guys can see that but that does not matter and then all you uh, and you'll need medical tape it's sticky so you don't have to get any involving with glue and you'll need any type of black marker or however you want to make your eyes because we're making a mummy so you're going to take, and you will need scissors. So I don't have my scissors right now, but you can always try to rip it, I guess. You're going to take your medical tape, you know, just roll it off a little bit. Then you're going to take your jar, and you're just going to start wrapping your tape around the jar, and it gets... And then, and it's gonna turn. And you probably will ask, do you leave any space for the eyes? And that answer would be no. You just keep going around and around until you reach your bottom. And if you would like an, a special effect at the end, by the way, you can get like a battery candle, those mini ones. And if you've ever seen those, you can ask your parents about them if you haven't, but um, they're really cute. And stick them in and it will be like a little night light night. So once you're finished, I'm completely finished. You're just gonna have to like figure out a way to get it off if you don't have scissors, which I don't right now. But we're gonna just, I'm just gonna leave it on and we're gonna move on to the face. So you're just gonna draw your eyes, which I'm gonna turn it around for a minute while I draw mine. And you get this effect. I did these kind of eyes. You can do whatever eyes you want. And if you decide you want to, you can do a mouth. I don't want to, but you can. And so this, just pretend this isn't here because I don't have scissors right now. But um, it gives this really cute effect to a mummy. And you put a little candle inside, one of those fake battery candles. It's super cute, super cute, I promise you. And medical tape, if you haven't done this craft yet, when you're not watching it, um, I promise you it is really helpful instead of having to use, um, like, um, what is it called? Um, that like, it's like another kind of tape that you can see through, but and you have to glue it. It's so much easier just to use medical tape because it sticks on and it still looks with that cool effect. And she, once you put those eyes on, it looks like your mummy. So, every, so you've learned how to make candy corn necklace, spiders, and last but the, totally not least my personal favorite 
mummy jars. And so, thanks for watching. Give us a thumb up, thumbs up. Comment down below what's your favorite craft. And tell me if you have some fun craft ideas because I always love to do crafts. And, um, yes, you can use googly eyes for this craft. I just did not. I like to have this effect. And, um, thanks for watching. Yeah, and, um, thank you for just viewing us. And we, me and my cousin in this channel, we're really looking for viewers. So, hope you guys view our n next video. And, thank you.